Hey guys. Hi. How's everybody doing? Good. All right. So I am super excited about tonight. We have a very special guest. Um, he's actually what you call a missionary. Does anybody know what a missionary is? He tells people about God in the desert. That's right. He spreads the message of God all over the world, in the deserts of Africa or the jungles of South America. Now I want everybody to give a warm camp welcome to our special guest. Missionary Jim. How many of you guys have heard of the Amazon? Dr. King? Dr. King? Oh, hi, you must be Mel. Hurry up, oh, we have to close the door. Get your stuff, we're gonna close the door, we have to close the door, hurry. Whatever you do, don't let him out. If he tries to climb the wall, pull him down. No! 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 You must be Mel from Boston. I'm Dr. King. Let me ask you something. Do you believe in demons, Mel? Well, I believe in Jesus Christ more than I believe in demons, but... Let's get you settled. Mel! That oh my gosh, I can't believe you came all this way. Of course I would come. Of course. It's so good to see you, Mel. Thank you so much for coming. Of course you remember Todd. Nice to see you. See? Thank you, darling. Anyone else like some coffee? Anita Sota. That was her. Anita Sota. I didn't know. Dad, you okay? Mom wouldn't mind if you stayed here with us for a little while. Miss Miss Patty, she can watch the house, and well, you, you know you're always welcome here. Always. 
Thank you, son. I appreciate that. But your mother and I started to work. And even though it might be difficult for you to understand, even though she's gone and in heaven, I have to continue that work. So, when are you leaving? Tomorrow. Donna, there's a call for you on line four. Okay. This is Dr. Zeke. Wait, Linda? I thought that was tomorrow. Oh, jeez. I'm so sorry, Linda. Oh, please don't be upset with me. Listen, I can leave the hospital now. I mean, we can still make it, right? I am. I am packed. Okay, can you just do me a favor? Swing by my house and pick up my suitcase. It's in my bedroom. Can you do that? Okay, yeah, I'll leave the hospital right now and I'll just I'll just meet you at the airport. Is that good? Linda, I am really, really sorry. It's my... All right. I'll see you this. I'll see you there. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, can you do me a favor and page Dr. Stark and have him pick up this patient? I appreciate it. Thank you. Fondue. Nice. Look, sourpuss. This is our vacation. And like it or not, there is plenty of life out there for us. We just have to go get it. What? Hey, I'm gonna take this one by the bathroom. What did you say? What did you say? I'm gonna take this one. No, no. <laughs> plenty of life out there for us. Honey, you can have this one. No. <laughs> I just, I felt like God was telling me that. I don't know. Honey. I just, I just feel like God's been trying to tell me something like that. I don't know. Hearing voices again. No. <laughs> I just keep feeling like he's telling me he has an adventure for me. Something big. Well, then he does, Donna. <laughs> you just have to make yourself available. It's time. It's time to live again. And if your best friend tells you that, and God does too, that's really good advice. <laughs> now wipe off those tears. Let's do fondue. <laughs> You're a fool. I love you. Mm -hmm. I don't do it. <laughs> Better be cheese. Mm -hmm. Chocolate. Mm -hmm. Apple sliced. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs>
It's a movie. It will be fun. Come on. Listen, this group is designed just for people like us. Okay? Fine. Thank you. Better be guy with Ladies, welcome to, to movie night. Would, would you like some popcorn? We've got plenty for everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks. I'm sorry. You're lucky. I love you. I'm so sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> Designed for people like us. What kind of people do you think we are? Dead? <laughs> Harry? <laughs> Seriously? The popcorn's really good. The popcorn is good. I'm so oh, yeah. sorry. Can I help you? I brought your family a cake. Astrid Nicosia, I will help you open your shop. But I need okay. you to Please make me a few things. Promise me. When you said you were going to help us out, this is not what we expected. My do you speak to God? God? Specialist in California this morning. My dearest brothers and sisters in Christ, the Lord has been good. His blessings are endless and His love is sufficient. Yesterday the refuge got new children. They came here under the cover of night as not to be detected. They're so young, so physically ill. So far none of them have spoken. Two of the older children I've named Pedro and Charlie. I think they're related. Their health is frail, but we're looking after them. I do continue to miss my wife. Her loss continues to make it hard for me to breathe. Sometimes I feel like her love and tenderness is irreplaceable for these children, but God is faithful. And as I pray, I ask for my beloved to celebrate the new joys in my life as I celebrate her presence with the King of Kings. I am... Donna, hurry, please, hurry. Why? Someone just said they're going to play Twister. Twister? Twister, oh no. no. Please hurry, run. Let's go. We're running at full capacity here at the refuge. The children spend most of their mornings in school and the afternoons with chores and sports. English is still very popular to learn, so we have several tutors come over to the refuge often. Eight new professions of faith and five young men got baptized this month. We are so delighted that all of them decided to follow Christ's example of baptism. Hallelujah. 
I continue our medical ministry in the jungle. Sickness fills the Amazon. Meeting the physical needs of the people is still a wonderful passageway to reaching these forgotten villages with the gospel of Jesus Christ. We are still conducting our church services here at the refuge. Many people from the town and nearby village attend here. The church is growing and we are praying for a pastor and we hope to have our church built across the street soon. On a darker side, the trafficking of children in Ecuador is big business. The battle to rescue these children before they become enslaved or sold is raging. This is a spiritual war for these children. Please pray that the darkness will not prevail, but the light of our Savior will continue to shine in Ecuador. I am reminded so often of Paul's encouragement to Timothy. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. Each day I'm learning that my faith in the power of God must be made stronger than my thoughts of uncertainty. God has a plan for us all. We did complete construction on the sports field, a dream made reality for my late wife. In fact, we dedicated the field in her honor. It was a lovely event. Watching the little ones play brings gladness to my heart. And witnessing the older children and hearing about their accomplishments for the kingdom was a comfort to my soul. For this, I remain the luckiest man alive, as your servant in Christ, Dr. Wes King. God told me something. God told you what? To write him? To write God. No. Mm. Well, God told me to tell you to stop eating my salad. Now go away, crazy woman. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> okay. What are you talking about? The letter. What letter? when I took from the church. Well, it was to the church, but it was from a missionary. So you stole a letter from a church written by a missionary? Yeah. Where? <laughs> the old people's oh movie my. church. <laughs> you know, the twister, the How? <laughs> crazy one, oh. creepy one. Never, never mind. Yeah. Never forgive you for that, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Look. It's like, it's like the scriptures that he's got in here were written just for me. Listen to this. Second Timothy 1.7 says, For God did not give us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not fear, but love. And don't forget, a sound mind, Donna. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he, who is he? Dr. West King. Well, it might be Wesley. Mm. So are you going to write him? I am going to write him. You should? Mm hmm And he's a missionary? Mm-hmm, yes. In Ecuador. Ecuador? Mm-hmm. As in South America, Ecuador? Yep. Okay, just be careful. Of course. You know me. It's not like I'm gonna move there or anything. Enjoy your lunch, it was really good. <laughs> Gracias, Miss Patty. 
Muchas gracias. Okay, let's pray. Oh, before we pray, remember, some Americans are coming this weekend to help with the construction of the church. Oh, tenemos que entregar nuestros cuartos. No, remember, we speak English at the dinner table. Do we have to give a room? Yes, you and Charlie will have to go into Albert's room. Oh, Mel's coming. Buenas noches, chicos. We're almost there, guys. Oh, I've been here many times before. We're almost there, Gary. Come on. Almost there. Oh, and here it is. El dulce refugio. Let's go in. Mel, that's the thing. Good to see you. Ten cuidado, es frágil. Come in. Entra, amigos. Deben estar hambriento. Welcome. Come in. Welcome. So how many kids live here, Dr. King? Give or take 50, maybe 60. Give or take? Yeah, give or take. So you've been here like 15 or 18 times or something, right? That was here a lot during the summer, during college. Yeah, this is Mel's home. I practically raised him. No offense to your mom. It's gorgeous here. I love the architecture and the rivers. Just oh, gorgeous. Thank you. My late wife and I designed it and built it. In fact, we keep this chair open in honor of her at every meal. I'm sorry for your loss, Dr. King. Um, what is this? Locro. Oh, it's not Locro. It's Anaconda. Uh, no, no, Mark. Boys, it's not Anaconda. Anaconda's too tough. It's stew. It's, it's perfectly safe. In fact, everything here is perfectly fine, guys. You're at home. Not that, though. No, that's fine. When the Lord gave us this property, my wife and I would walk it, oh, I don't know, every day, sometimes twice a day, for almost a year before we built the orphanage. God promised us he would protect us. Two years to build. Like I said, we did it ourselves. Right after they built it, the volcano erupted. To Guragua. Where? Here? Yeah, I remember thinking, oh Lord, did I mishear you? Am I not doing what you asked? But then I remembered the great men of the Bible. Not that I would ever compare myself with those men, but nonetheless. He never promised us a rose garden. He just promised us he would protect us, even through the difficult times. Isn't that so? As believers, we should never live in fear. God told me to never again fear a volcano. And if God be for me, who would be against me? So tell me about this church. It's that property across the street, right? Yes. We so appreciate you guys coming to help us. I'll have some uh, church members and some of my kids coming to help you. Um, so, uh, where do you preach now? Huh. Me? Um, you're a missionary, don't you preach? Oh no, I'm a doctor. God just told me to build it. He said he'd send a pastor. I mean, our Bible studies are growing, but this village needs a pastor. That's why God's allowing us to build the church. But missionaries preach, right? Well, they share Christ, the love of Christ. Gary, right? Not all missionaries, our pastors, are preached. Do you preach? No. But you build, right? Yeah. When we become followers of Christ, we become missionaries, messengers. A story. Many years ago, 
I became a doctor with the sole purpose of becoming a missionary. But I was mistaken because I was already a missionary. I could have saved thousands of dollars in medical school. Miss Patty, would you get this gentleman some bread and fruit? We'll start you on that. And you guys should get settled and get some rest. Things get started awfully early around here in the morning. The challenges you must face on a daily basis must test your faith in Almighty God. For He is our great provider. He is our comfort. He will be our strength. I stand reminded of His abundant love and His steadfastness as the great physician. Hey. Yeah. You should add a few verily verilies in there. Oh, good point. How many? All these two. They come in pairs. Oh no. Linda? Yes. Oh, I think I lost power. Oh, just a minute. I didn't like these candles. Oh. All right. Okay. So no barrelies. Okay. Oh no. My letter. Oh no, your letter, right? Are you typing your letter? Of course. Don't. It sounds like a devotional, a bad devotional. I'm sorry. Reminded of God's abundant love and steadfast blah, 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 blah. Are you making fun of me? Yes. But I love you. Listen, get some paper, get a pen, and write a letter. Write from your heart. Share with him. Share you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. I thought my life was over when my husband died. I didn't know how I was going to live, how I would even face another day. But then I thought about the rising of the sun, God creation, and just how much he still loved me. You know, I could live without many things. I could live a life alone, a life without dreams, a life without a husband, but I just couldn't live without him. He is truly the heartbeat to all I do. Hi, Dr. King. Hi, Mel. Hey, uh, listen, uh, Barry, one of the guys, he had an idea. I don't know if he can paint a mural or something uh, in front of the church. It's okay, I guess. Don't you want to know what it is? No, that's up to you. Okay. They're still back there? Yes, they are. They seldom leave my side. Bless their hearts. You know, it's funny. In the jungle, death is real. It's celebrated even more than life sometimes. These kids have seen more death than most soldiers. They understand death. They just don't understand loss. It's difficult teaching them that in God's kingdom there is no loss. That one day they will see Brenda again. Have you thought more about your church? I don't know, like the King. I don't know. As much as I think about it, I just don't know. Well, I pray the Lord will reveal His plan to you. It's just that these people really need a pastor. My son, Will, he and his wife have a passion for adopting children. <laughs> well, I guess you do too. <laughs> My daughter Amy comes over to check on me often. <laughs> Sometimes too often. Mom, Mom, are you okay? Are you up yet? 
In the kitchen, hon. Oh, we lost power last night. The storm, something. I heard half the city was out. Did you lose power? Do you have power now? Yes. Good morning, darling. Yes, we did lose power. But as you can see, it's back on. Coffee? I had plenty. <laughs> Dr. West King, Ecuador, what's this? Nothing. I have to go to work. Love you. Mwah. This is Dr. Zick. Mom. Oh, hey, Will. Got some good news, Mom. Sarah and I, we're adopting again. Oh, that's wonderful, darling. Yeah, we've been working with this international adoption agency. Uh-huh. They found us this darling eight-year-old little girl. Her name's Tina. Uh-huh. She's from Colombia. South America? Well, yeah. Is it Colombia next to Ecuador? Yeah, you, you, you should come with us. Yeah, I might. Well, listen, I gotta fix this mower. But, uh, God is so good, Mom. Yes. A God thing. I'll talk to you later. Hola. Hola. Hola, señor. Doctor. Sí. Hola. Mi sobrino. Hola, señor. Gloria. Nosotros no podemos cuidarle. Por eso queremos que se quede aquí. Oh, sí, sí. Por supuesto. Espere. ¿Cómo te llamas? Dorian Sánchez. ¿Y tus padres? Murieron. Lo siento mucho. Vamos. ¿Podemos echar un vistazo por aquí? No, por favor. Gracias. Sí. Gracias. What's going on? Well, this man's a city official, and the young man is Dorian. His uncle can't take care of him anymore. So he's going to stay here with us. Now he's a child of a king. Something. Got it? 
jammed it. Awesome. Man, I've never seen workers like this. And to be so little, it's amazing. You know, the Amazon's only about five miles from here. What? You hear that? Uh-uh. Okay, it was 500 miles from here. Well, we gotta go if it's that close. You'll love it. Nah. They got big spiders, boss. <laughs> oh, That's right, big spiders down that hole you're in right there. Ah, <laughs> nah, nah, get back down there. I'm gonna go out and smell. That's a good idea. Come on, we all do it. It'll be fun. Oh, come on, boss. Creo que son más de 30 niños. Esos niños tienen que ser niños. No te preocupes. Todos esos niños van a ser tuyos. Escuché que están construyendo una nueva iglesia al frente. Varios estadounidenses están allí para construirla. Esperaremos hasta que se vayan. Y cuando los niños estén solos, nos los traemos. Todos esos niños van a ser tuyos. Ok, es suficiente por hoy. Correr a la cancha. ¡Vayan! ¿Qué pasa? No pueden tener miedo. ¿Qué les dije? Jesús está con nosotros. Jesús está allí. ¿Qué más? No hay que tener miedo. Está bien. Y los amo, o ambos. Mis queridos hijos, siempre estaremos juntos siempre porque tenemos a Jesús siempre ahora vayan a jugar vayan Pedro and Charlie just left the classroom. I think I told you about them. They're still having a hard time adjusting. Hi, Dr. King. Hi, Mel. I'm and Roberto. We've been working at the church. Uh, but they want to take the Americans to the jungle. Do you want to come? The Americans want to go? What are you doing? Writing a book? Oh, just a note. Why don't you use email? Well, that wouldn't be romantic. Personal. I meant personal. Romantic? I'll meet you in the courtyard in 10 minutes. Tell Miss Patty we're going and maybe start dinner a little later. All right. Thanks, Mel. Okay guys, this is very special. This is the first village I came to when we first started our ministry in the Amazon. 
very, very special. They might even dance for us. That would be a treat. They're gonna feed you. What? I said they're gonna feed you. If you don't eat and you put it down, that's not a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea either. Again, guys. It's like she has the perfect dimples. Oh, did you get the pictures? I did. Oh, let me see. Let me see. She's so cute. Though. Oh, is that your brother? Yeah. Oh, let me talk to him. Hey, Will. She is so cute. Yes, I'm looking at them right now. Oh, honey, I am so excited for you and Sarah. Yes. Well, yes, I'm coming down to South America with you when you go get her. Oh, honey. Okay. I love you, Will. Bye. Oh, look at that little face. South America? Mm. What's this? That is none of your business. Mom? Okay, here, come close, I can hear you. Okay, I'll translate. Okay. Our father was a medicine man. He had many wives, many children, but we were the only twins that we knew about. Our mother was different, different from his other wives. He was a very mean man, mean to her. We were quickly cast out. My brother and I were only five years old when his violence led to her death. We had no one. We traveled all over, slept here and there. No food, no one to care for us because they were afraid of father. We collected bugs to eat and slept in the rain until one day we decided to end our lives. We knew of these berries in the forest that would put us to sleep, take us away from this life 
to the next. We took them. We took them all. And we laid down on that rock right there under the waterfall. I remember falling asleep. But then we woke up. And then we saw it. The head of a giant anaconda that had come up out of the water beside our heads. We were sweating. We had wanted to die, but not that way. Then a light appeared over my head, and it got brighter and brighter into the form of a man's face. Not a jungle face, but a kinder face than I had ever expected to see. He smiled at us and spoke words of love. Te amo, he said, I love you. I will always be with you. And as his image faded, he kept speaking those words to us. I love you. I will always be with you. I love you. I will always be with you. Te amo, mi hijo. Te amo. Okay, let's head back. Let's head back. So how did the boys end up at the orphanage? Well, that's a funny story. Uh, several days later, the Let boys... Let me tell that. Okay. So we lived here, and we didn't know where we were going. We said the... Like, we were hungry. We said this. This animal, we had all these toys, was huge, and we attacked it. What was it? It was a bus. We got <laughs> on it, and we rode it. It was a bus. They literally attacked a bus. <laughs> See, the bus comes to town, and these two five-year-old boys, jungle boys, are hanging on top of it, trying to eat the metal, right? Yeah. The police, they had no idea what to do with them, so they brought them to me. Now they have their own business, they have wives and children. They preach the gospel here in the Amazon several nights a week. All the villages throughout, they're bringing Jesus to the jungle, to their people. I think it's beautiful the way God planned that out. So they're going places you can't go. Exactly. And God's plan. His plan, his timing. Oh, timing. This Patty's gonna kill us. Let's go. What are you asking me, Lord? You know, I promise, whatever it is, I'll do it. I just need to know what it is. Hi, can I help you? Hello. My name's Mandy. I'm a real estate agent. I just sold a house two doors down, and I have lots of buyers in this area oh. looking for houses just like yours. Have you ever thought about selling, maybe looking for a new home? Hmm. Come on in. I applaud your work, Dr. King, but moving these kids in the middle of the night it seems a little suspicious. Do you guys believe in demons? Yeah. Well, that was the hardest thing I had to learn when I first moved down here. The powers of darkness are strong here. You know how it says in Ephesians that we fight against principalities? Well, this is a principality. All the tribal worship, voodoo, medicine, demonic oppression, and just plain evil men. It's all over the place here. And it preys on these little children. That's why we call ourselves the refuge. The 
sweet refuge. Adios, children. Adios. Dr. King. Adios. I'll be praying for you. Thank Adios. you. Adios. Adios. Dr. King, very good pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye, Dr. King. I love Adios. you, man. Adios, <laughs> Adios. Um, I love you too, Gary. But we don't say goodbye around here. So we'll be seeing you soon, Big G. All right. Miss Patty made you some cookies. Awesome. <laughs> This place means the world to me, Dr. King. I will be back. And I'm gonna keep praying that God calls you to be a preacher. <laughs> what a blessing this has been. No, my book bag. It, it has my passport in it. I can't find it. Well, we'll turn it around. Francisco. Doctor King, aquí tenemos una orden de registro. Vamos a revisar todo el lugar. ¿Qué pasa? Recibimos una queja de uno de sus niños. ¿Qué hicieron? Ellos no. Usted. Miss Patty, llévalos a la cancha. Going back. Aparentemente, están buscando cargos de abusos contra del doctor. Maybe there's some kind of abuse charges against the doctor. They might even take the kids away. It's been two hours. There is such a thing as due process. They have no right to be in there searching your property. You need to contact the embassy because this is serious. Hey, 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 where are you taking him? No, ask him. ¿Dónde lo llevan? Esto es todo. Ya tenemos todo lo que necesitamos. That child is in Dr. King's custody! We demand to know where you're taking him! Dr. King, I'm an international attorney. I have years of experience with Ecuadorian law. I want you to understand how very serious this is. They are basically accusing you of abusing a child. That's not possible. The presumption is that this young boy, um... Dorian. We've only had him a few days. His uncle brought him in from Colombia. Yes. I'd say that it's him that made the complaint, as they've taken him. That's safe to say. So, what do we do? You have to leave, Dr. King. What? No, wait, what about the other children? What? What other children? Forget it. If the police continue this investigation, and they will, they're going to lock you up until they complete their inquiries. Hola. Hola. Me informaron que se reunirán aquí esta noche. Continue. As I was saying, if you are not here... Oh, un momento. ¿Qué eres? Soy su amigo. Soy abogado y estoy aquí para ayudar. As I was saying, if you're not here, then they can't arrest you, can they? 
You have to leave now. But I didn't do anything. Well, I believe you. And I'll try and clear things up. But it's going to take time. Here in Ecuador, they don't honor what you might call due process. I'm not leaving my home. What about my boys? Well, you can't really be any use to them in jail, can you? And Ecuadorian jail is... <laughs> It's not a pleasant place, I can assure you. Dr. King, you have very little rights here. I'd get out. I have some work I can do in Colombia. I'll stay here with the kids, Dr. King. Me too. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, and I can stay uh, for a couple days at least. I'm going to have to go back. I can help clear this up better from the States anyway. Maybe we can get the State Department to work with you. You need to tell him everything. Oh no, I can't. And you can't either. Promise me. Okay. Okay. Let's go pack a bag. No se preocupe, Dr. King. Dios está a sus espaldas. Adios. Oh, Miss Patty. Miss Patty. Oh. Te amo. Te amo. Oh, Miss Jew. Miss Hijos. Te amo, Miss Hijos. Buenos días. Señor, everything is in order, so it's only that she needs to stay three days more. Sí, está bien, solo tiene que quedar tres días más. What is it? Well, she has to stay a few more days here. Mm -hmm. We can't take her out of Colombia until Sunday. It's okay, Mom. The adoption agency said that this might happen. She's ours. She's really ours. <laughs> well, you know, you don't really need me hanging around for three days. <laughs> I, um, I have a friend in Ecuador, a, a missionary, you know. I've been thinking about visiting. <laughs> Mom, this is not the type oh, of... honey. I'll be fine. A, a suitcase? Yeah, well, you never know. I'll see you in three days. Thank you. Oh my. Gracias, Javier. Dr. K. What are you doing here? Uh, is there a place we can talk in private? Um, sure. Here, this way. What's going on? You know, I heard about the raid on the refuge. Yeah. That was uh, just a big mix-up. 
there's nothing to worry about. So, what are you doing here? You know that kid? Yeah. This has nothing to do with him. I figured that. Dorian. What's going on with him? Is he okay? I don't know. Hmm. Think you can find out? I'll see what I can do. I'll try. Something you need to know. I never wanted any harm to come to you or the refuge. It's just that I wanted Listen, to. Listen, I know. I know. You've saved hundreds of children from the jungles, from the streets. We. We. That's dangerous work, my friend. I'm just grateful you brought some of them to me. I thank you for that. You know they're out to shut you down and take your children and steal your property. No, that's not my property. And those children, they're children of a king, a great king, a powerful king, bigger than them, much bigger than this king. What can I do? You just keep protecting the children, and I'll find a place for them, all of them. All of them? All of them. Oh my. Hola. Estoy buscando al Dr. West King. Can I help you? Is is this is this the sweet refuge? Yes, it is. I'm Donna Zick from America. Well, I'm friends with Dr. King. Come on, come on. Is Dr. King here? Uh, no, he's not right now. Oh, uh, will he be? Will he be gone long? Um, uh, but... Hey, let me go get Mel. Oh. Mel, Mel. Hola. Can? May I? Hello. Hola. <laughs> How are you? I am fine. How are you? Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, my, my name is Arturo. Arturo. Si? ¿Sí? Mi nombre? Si? ¿Sí? Donna. 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 From America. Si. Sí. Si? Sí? <laughs> Hi, oh, Mel. Donna, hi. right? Hi, yes, hi. yes. Was Dr. King expecting you? You know, um, I don't really know. <laughs> I mean, I, I was writing him letters, and he was writing me back, and, uh, you know, I told him several letters ago that I was thinking about traveling to South America. You see, my son and his family have adopted a little girl in Colombia. And, and uh, you know what? I haven't... I haven't really heard back from him. Donna, have you heard from him? As a matter of fact, it's been several weeks. Like, you know, I thought I thought I would surprise him, I guess, but I, I don't I don't really know him. Um, you know what? I'm sorry. Just, just tell him I came by. I don't really should have said. He told me about you. He did? Yes. Your letters are sitting on his desk waiting for his return. My letters? Yes. Oh. Por favor, vaya hacia arriba. Adentro. Gracias. Well, will Dr. King be gone long? Uh, we do not know. Is he okay? Oh, no, he, he's fine. Oh, good. You see, several weeks ago, the orphanage was raided by the police. 
there were serious accusations made against the doctor. Oh my accusations of abuse. He was advised uh, to leave the country for his own protection. He's now in Colombia, waiting for his issue to be resolved so he can return to the country and continue working at the orphanage. Meanwhile, the lawyers are working on this uh, case here. So this is our dining area. Our kitchen, Miss Patty's over there with her cook. And down this end we have our bedrooms. And our living room area. Hola. Hola. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my, this is so beautiful. Breathtaking, huh? Yes. Oh my. So how long are you staying? Oh, just a few days. Like I said, I have to catch a plane back in a, in a few days. Well, then, then you should stay here. Oh, no, no. I, I can find another place. Oh, I, I insist. Relax, you're home here. <laughs> so how was your flight? It was good. It was long, but it was good. So long that you grew that entire beard during the flight? I did. That was, that's a really long flight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, well, I've, I've got something for you. It's, it's a surprise. What is it? That's a cell phone. So that means that I can call you anywhere, anytime, anywhere that you are in this world. Hmm. Look at that. So what's going on? Oh, South American politics, corruption, orphan children, drug cartels. And so the usual, that's it. You okay? I have nothing for you to worry about, son. What is it that you always told me? God's got your back? Hey, thank you, son, for the phone. Oh, that kind of reminds me that, that, that... You remember the woman from the, uh, the funeral, Hanito? Sure. What's her, what's her deal? What? Uh, that was the first orphanage where I, uh, your mother and I served. Uh, we just found her in the streets and took her in. She was... Oh, defiant, I guess would be the word. Um, we raised her until she reached about 14 or so and she was adopted. Um, you know, she was the only child who ever insisted we teach her English. <laughs> she was determined. <laughs> well, she, she emailed me. She, she wanted to get in touch with you. No. I told her you still don't have an email because you don't have an email, right? No. Of course not. Here you go. Yeah. Look at the uh, subject line. Oh. God's got your back. Look at that. Oh. Well, you, sh you should call her. She thinks the world of you, and it says there that she's got business in South America. Are you reading my letter? That's my email. <laughs> so technically, you're reading my letter that is addressed to you. <laughs> That's nice. Oh. What is up with the beard? That's just something different. Well, it's definitely different. <laughs> it's definitely, definitely different. Are you, uh, are you getting back on a plane soon? Yeah, in a few hours, actually. You know... Of course you are. This refuge was our lives. I mean, your mother and I put so much... I just, I don't want you or your sister to... Oh, that, that explains the beard, I think. This is just giving me one of those, like, as I reflect upon my life, I feel guilty for this speech. Come on. No, I just... Dad, you are a wonderful father. Fantastic. 
to, to me, to everyone here, to everyone at the refuge. Yeah, it's hard to share you sometimes, but that's, I mean, it's worth it. Was it? Yeah. No question. Well, where, where are you going? Heaven. Well, yeah, Dad, I sure hope so. Someday. Not right now. Where, I <laughs> know where are you going to go tonight on the plane in a few hours? I met someone. In Ecuador? Nebraska. What are you, online dating? Online dating, no. Yeah. <laughs> no. She wrote me. That's kind of online dating, I guess. Well, good. Hey, I say go for it. Good for you. Yeah. Well, she doesn't know I'm coming. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna... I don't know. What? We had been writing, and then something happened at the orphanage that made me think I have nothing to offer her. So, I mean, she's a doctor. She has a practice. Hey, you're a doctor. You have a practice. Yeah, not like that. Yeah, exactly like that. Oh, God. Hey, look. Mom was an absolutely wonderful, wonderful, wonderful mom. She was. And you guys together made the best team. But she's gone. She's gone now, and you have an awful lot more life to live. So, if the greatest man that I have ever known thinks that he's gonna have a pity party right here, that's just not gonna happen. No chance. Nebraska? Nebraska. been showing this house non-stop. It is a gorgeous home. Great neighborhood. Why is she great... selling? I really have no idea. I think to travel more, not sure. The owner's actually out of the country now. Out of the country where? Uh, South America or something, America. I think. Uh, thank you. I'm not interested. Well, I am interested. Hey Mel, could you tell me where you keep the, oh no, 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 uh, no, colors and whites don't mix in the wash. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Those boys, they are so sweet <laughs> and innocent. So, you ever thought of being a missionary? Me? <laughs> Have you ever thought about being a pastor? I'm so glad to hear from you. 
Are you okay? I mean, I haven't heard from you for quite some time. Oh. <laughs> I got here yesterday. You're where? I was in Colombia yesterday. <laughs> oh my goodness, are you kidding? I was at the orphanage. Yes, I was there. I still can't believe that we were there at the same time. Those children are so sweet. You should meet my little granddaughter. Oh, I can't wait till she comes home. Speaking of coming home, it'd be nice to see you. I know. I know. It would be nice to see your face. I want to come home. You, you can't come back now. Not now. If God be for me, who can be against me? The Ecuadorian police? The drug cartel? No match against my God. Plus, he told me to come back. Who? God. <laughs> All right. I pray. I mean, I pray a lot. Does he talk to you? Of course. <laughs> of course he does. Okay. Later this afternoon. It is later this afternoon. Okay, sorry. The sun's gonna go down behind the mountains. I want you to go outside. Take the second walking path down to the soccer field. About halfway down, there's a bench. God will meet you there. He always meets me there. Just ask. He'll be there. Okay. I will. Okay, bye. Hello. Oh my gosh. Please sit. Do you live here? No. I just really wanted to see you. Yeah, you sent my son a, an email. When I heard about Mrs. King, it was one of the saddest days of my life, I think. She meant so much to me, the two of you. Dr. King, I am so grateful. I am who I am today because of you and your wife. Oh, I... No, let me finish. I remember. You picked me. I remember. After the funeral, my company has a lot of resources as well. We looked you up in Ecuador and made some inquiries. You're a long ways from Ecuador, Dr. King. I had some issues at the orphanage. I know. What do you mean you know? Kamisamaga, see through. No se preocupe, Dr. King. You sent the guy, uh, the lawyer. Dr. King, I have everything that life has to offer, but it means nothing. Do you know why? Why? Because when I was a little girl, you gave me hope. And that hope changed my life. That hope is the heartbeat of all that I do. And what do you do? This is a guy. I'm sorry that you were wrongly accused, and I'm sorry that you felt you needed to leave Ecuador. But you must go back, Dr. King. All the wrongs have been fixed. God's got your back. Just like that? We know about the kids you've been saving. You interfered with some evil men, some very evil men. But we removed those men. 
Go back, Dr. King. I've got your back. I do not know what to say. Say you'll keep saving eight-year-old children. They need you. Goodbye, Dr. King. I love you. I love you. Heavenly Father, is this where you want me to be? Is this what you want me to do? You want me, the God of all creation, wants me. Oh, Father, thank you. Thank you for my life. Thank you for my children, my husband. Oh, thank you. Thank you for giving me life, a new life, a new plan. Venimos a proteger la propiedad al Dr. King y a los niños. They're here to look after the property, Dr. King and the children. I don't want any weapons around the children. No queremos armamento alrededor de los niños. No, no, nada, absolutamente nada. No weapons. Ningún armamento. Nada, no. ¿Qué está pasando? Doctor King está bien. Tenemos abogados, agentes federales y mañana se soluciona todo en la corte. Todo. You said it's okay. They got lawyers, federal agents. So everything will be okay tomorrow. Thank you, Lord. Dios está cuidando sus espaldas. God is covering his back. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know what? It truly was an incredible spirit-filled day. Yeah, God showed up. Well, the devil lost again. I'm coming home. Oh, Wes. He's got your back. Are you going to be there when I get there? Of course. I'm home. You know, remember when I was a little girl? My parents took me to the Camp of the Living Waters, but somewhere in Oregon. <laughs> I remember I didn't want to go. <laughs> there was this missionary that came. You know, it spoke about being a missionary. He talked about jungles and hot houses. And <laughs> I remember thinking right then and there, I want to go there. I remember telling God, I want to be a missionary. <laughs> missionary Jim? <laughs> huh. That's right. You're from Oregon. <laughs> How many of you guys have heard of the Amazon? 